gang, it's time to come up with the new iPhones. Okay, what do you got, CEO of Apple? I'm thinking we start with the 12th because it's the 12th generation of iPhone. Makes sense. Logical. And then we make a better version called the 12 Pro. Well, why don't we just make the original version as good as the Pro and then just make that the only one? Shut up! After that, we've got the 12 Pro Max. Why not just... I think a 12 and a 12 Max would be so much simpler. And also, we've got the 12 Mini. But wouldn't a 12 be small enough? Why are we going smaller? And then, we've got the 12 Mini Small. How small is that going to be? And then, just to add more options for the consumer, we're going to add the 12 Mini Max. That's just... That's, that's just the same as the 12. That's the same as 12. 12 Mini Max Pro. I can't even do the math on a simpler way to say that. The 12 2. That would be the 13. And we're doing that next year. The 12 Pro Max Mini, not Pro. That literally is just the 12. People want options, guys. Does anyone get the feeling we're segregating our market a little bit? The 12, but it's as big as an iPad. That's just an iPad with cellular. A cellular iPad. The 12, but it's 15 inches, it has a keyboard attached, and it's got advanced computing power. That's literally a MacBook. We make that. No, I think we should keep this in the iPhone line. This one's going to be a big seller. So, do you remember when Steve tried to keep things simple? Yes, and I'm taking his legacy and I'm expanding it. Hear me out. 20 iPhone 12s. I think let's make a good phone and a bigger version for a little bit more money. We're making a cheese version. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, oh, wait, that could melt. That's why that's a bad idea? Watermelon iPhone. Now, that would get so messy. Why are you even considering the pros and cons of a watermelon iPhone? Boys, we aren't thinking big enough. I think we're definitely thinking too big. I've got it! What? iPhone train! No! iPhone train! That actually sounds kind of weird. No! Oh, yes, I'm my